Ladies and gentlemen, the headline on December the 10th, 1914 in the New York Times went something like this. Edison sees his vast plant burn. Inventor and wife direct salvage works as 10 buildings burn with chemical fuel flames shooting up 100 feet in the sky, burning five city blocks and destroying almost his entire operation. Later on, according to a Reader's Digest article by Edison's son Charles, Charles wrote that Edison calmly walked over to him as he watched the fire destroy his dad's life's work. In a childlike voice, Edison told his 24-year-old son, go get your mother and all her friends. They'll never see a fire like this again. When Charles objected, Edison said, it's all right. We've just got rid of a lot of rubbish. Later at the scene of the blaze, Edison was quoted in the New York Times as saying, although I'm 67 years old, I'll start all over again tomorrow. He was exhausted, but in true Edison fashion, he returned back to work and began rebuilding without firing any of his employees. In true Edison fashion, disaster directly led to innovation. This man with 1,093 different patents to his name, from a viable light bulb, to the phonograph, to the motion picture camera, had noticed during the fire that firefighters had trouble seeing in the smoking darkness. And just two days later, invented a powerful battery-powered searchlight. According to Edison's biography, he lost on that day in that fire more than $23 million in today's worth of money, of his inventions and his priceless records and prototypes. All of that stuff lost in that fire, but that did not stop him from bouncing back and rebuilding his operations. This poem, the next one in the Poetry That Inspires series, is titled Courage, Courage, Courage by Edgar Albert Guest. And I hope in the following verses, you too, my friends, will find the courage to bounce back from your setbacks and take your reverses as a part of God's plan. When the burden grows heavy and rough is the way, when the burden grows heavy and rough is the way, when you falter and slip and it isn't your day, and your best doesn't measure to what is required, when you know in your heart that you're fast growing tired, with the odds all against you, there's one thing to do, that is call on your courage and see the thing through. Who battles for victory, ventures defeat. Misfortune is something we all have to meet. Take the loss with the grace you would take in the gain. When things go against you, don't whine or complain. Just call on your courage and grin if you can. Though you fail to succeed, do not fail as a man. There are dark days and stormy, which come to us all, when about us in ruin, our hopes seem to fall. But stand to whatever you happen to meet, we must all drink the bitter as well as the sweet. And the test of your courage is what do you do in the hour when reverses are coming to you? Never changed is the battle by curse or regret. Never changed is the battle by curse or regret. Though you whimper and whine, still the end must be met. And who fights a good fight, though he struggle in vain, shall have many a victory to pay for his pain. So take your reverses as part of the plan which God has devised for creating a man. So take your reverses as part of the plan which God has devised for creating a man. Edgar Albert Guest. I'll leave you with this quote from 
the last lecture by Professor Randy Posh. A talk that deeply impacted my life 13 years ago when I was just starting out on this journey of being a motivational speaker and a coach. This talk was titled Achieving Your Childhood Dreams and was delivered at Carnegie Mellon University. The last lecture by Randy Posh. I highly recommend that you watch it. A great investment of your one hour, 15 minutes of your time. And I still remember Professor Randy Posh who said in that talk that day, we cannot change the cards that we are dealt, just how we play the hand. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. Courage, courage, courage by Edgar Albert Guest. Thanks for tuning in.